Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. First Peter 4 to encourages us to focus about the will of God and not our human desires. So let's pray. Father, thank you for today. Lord, please I ask concerning your people that are listening, oh God. Help us today to live in accordance to your will. Help us to do your will every minute and not be led by our human desires. Thank you as we receive this grace to do this in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you know that in the millennium reign of Christ, that is after the devil and the antichrist and all of that has been dealt with, do you know that all believers will not be at the same level? The same way that there is hierarchy here on earth, that is exactly how there is also a hierarchy in the new heaven and the new earth. Everybody will not be flatlined at the same level. No, 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 no way. There is hierarchy. But the difference between what is going to happen at that time and what is happening now is that the one done here, the sort of hierarchy down here is based on oppression and pride and you know all those sorts of silly reasons why people have that hierarchy but in the reign of christ it'll be done in love and the purpose of order and you know administration running the kingdom of god properly there needs to be hierarchy but the thing about what will determine who is placed you know in a higher position than the other is based on what we do here on earth so as you are living on earth you are determining your position in the world to come matthew 20 verse 16 says so those who are last now will be first then those who are first will be last so the bible is saying there's going to be a reversal of rule there's going to be a reversal of hierarchy so many people today who are first the bible says now they are first they're going to be last in that time and then the bible also says those who are last now are going to be first in that time let's look again at matthew chapter 19 that's the chapter before the one i just read if you read verse 30 it says again but many who are greatest now will be least important then and those who seem least important now will be the greatest then so you see the emphasis jesus talked about it in matthew 19 came again in matthew 20 he talked about it is mentioned in luke is mentioned in in mark so there is an emphasis on hierarchy in the next world but the big question is this what is it that would determine where i am placed in the world to come well if you read the verses before verse 30 this matthew 19 verse 30 we just read if we go up a little bit to verse 27 we'll see what happened that made jesus make this statement about many who are you know greatest now will be least important then so it starts in verse 27 he was actually replying peter let's see what peter said he said then peter said to him we've given up everything to follow you meaning there is a type of followership of the lord where you give up everything he says we've given up everything to follow you what will we get and Jesus replied, I assure you that when the world is made new and the Son of Man sits upon his glorious throne, you who have been my followers will also sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. So very clearly here, there is going to be you know there are going to be people who are going to sit and they're going to judge the rest of the people they are going to sit above and you know lead others but like i said it is not done based on oppression or whatever it is done based on love it is done based on order so that there can be order as we administer the kingdom of god now he continues in his 29 and tells us that everyone so it's not just peter james and john and all those guys the bible says there is an opening for every single one he says everyone who has given up houses brothers sisters father mother children or property for my sake will receive hundred times as much return and will inherit eternal life but many who are greatest now will be the least then and those who seem least now will be the greatest at that time so what the bible is saying is that what you do here what you are investing in here and the reason why you are investing in it he says if you are giving up your house your brother whatever it is you are giving up nothing is too much to give up no price is too high as long as it concerns the advancement of the kingdom of god i always say that you know anything that has god attached to it you can never lose by being involved you can never lose by pushing that thing forward as long as that thing has to do with god and you are doing it for the sake of the kingdom you can never lose in this time god will pay you in the world to come god will pay you but the thing about god paying you here is that god may not pay you in 
dollars and pounds and all these normal currencies and all of that. But God is a big rewarder. He always rewards his own. He always does. I mean, you can't outgive God. You can't give better than God. So though he might not give you dollars and pounds, of course, there's a place for that. He might do that. But he rewards you in the places that are most relevant. Your life is hanging on the line and God steps in. You know, it might be even that last dollar, whatever it is, God steps in. God knows how to reward you in the things that matter. It might be cash and property. It may not be, but you are sure to get a reward on this side of life. But that is only 10% of what the real reward is. The real reward of the Lord will never come in this life. It will come in the life to come. So he was teaching Peter. He said, listen, if you give up different things for my sake, you're not losing it. He said, you're going to gain in this life. But guess what? In the other world, you are also going to gain. So what you are doing here on earth is registering in eternity. You are deciding where you are going to be. If you focus on rising on this side of life, and as you rise on this side of life, there is no contribution you are making to advance the kingdom of God. There is no contribution you are advancing to ensure that, you know, people see the Lord, people get the gospel and all of that. You know what you are doing? You are laying up yourself for failure in the last days. The Bible says there are people who are going to reign with him. Meaning that you can be a child of God, but you will never reign with Christ. So the Bible in 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 12 tells us, he says, if we endure hardship, we will reign with him. But if we deny him, he will deny us. What kind of hardship? He's not talking about the fact that you don't have a job and therefore you're suffering. No, he's talking about if you endure hardship for the sake of the kingdom, for the advancement of the kingdom. You know, today in the 21st century, we love comfort. If that place of worship is not comfortable, you are not going to go there. If you need to trek, if you need to sacrifice something so that you can gain something spiritual, most of us are not willing to endure any sort of hardship. You know, if you're going to lose your job because of Jesus Christ, you'd rather keep your job. You know, there is no suffering. There is no hardship in your story. You know, the Bible is saying here, if you don't endure hardship for Jesus, what does it mean to, to suffer or endure hardship? You know how you know, in your office, you're told to falsify a figure or whatever you're at home or I don't know where, where, you know, where your situation is. And because of Jesus, you stick to the truth. You stick to integrity. You do the right thing. You might lose friends. You might lose a job. You might lose something. You might even go to jail. People have gone to jail. People have died because of their commitment to the Lord Jesus. And we're going to stand, you know, be, be beside these people when we face Jesus. So the Bible says, when you end your hardship for my sake, what will happen is that you will reign with him. But if you deny him, he will deny us. Meaning again that you can be a child of God. That's the one type of relationship. But there's another type of relationship and it is called reigning with the Lord, ruling with the Lord, being in charge with the Lord. Peter, James and John and all those other disciples, because of their labor in the things of God, the Bible says they will sit alongside Jesus, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Why the 12 tribes of Israel? That's because that is where they labor. That is where they function. So they're going to sit with Jesus Christ and they're going to reign. So what is your plan for eternity? Is it just this time, you know, the time we're living in here that you, all your plan is? Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15, he said, if it is only in this life that you have hope, he said, you are all men most miserable. No, you shouldn't live like that. Live with eternity in mind. Use your time here on earth to labor for that world because it is forever. The state at which you enter eternity is a permanent state. There is no change. There is no promotion in eternity. There is no demotion in eternity. The moment you step in and get your reward, it is permanent. No matter the labor you labor then, there's no more promotion. It's only here on earth in this time that we can have promotion. If you work harder, you get promoted. In eternity, that's it. It is only what you do here in time that determines what you gain in eternity. So my counsel is live for eternity. Live not just to be a child of God, but determined to reign with the Lord. Transit your relationship from childhood to kingship with the Lord. So again, the countdown is on for night of power. Heaven is ready. But the big question is, are you ready for a deep encounter with the Lord? Night of power. The venue is at the Oak House Church, 112 Commercial Avenue. It is off Habab Macaulay Road in Yaba, Lagos. The date is Friday 24th and Saturday 25th of September. Time is 5 p.m. GMT plus one and it ends at about 8 p.m. GMT plus one. You can follow online. Instagram is Oyik's Alfred, O-Y-I-K-S-A-L. 
f r e d uh, mixler app life edge that's a handle youtube the handle is oak house and the number to call for details plus two three four eight zero double six seven one zero four five two i'll be ministering and it will be a great time of encounter with the lord god bless you just breathe your name upon me breathe. for other life-changing messages you can now download the app rev or yik speaks from Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users. You can also follow us on Instagram, YouTube and Telegram, all on the handle Oyigs Alfred. Just breathe your name. Just breathe your name.